it's Andre and this is the first Friday flying update for 2016 so happy New Year's and I hope everybody had a restful and really productive holiday season and more important got out and got flying I did a few times and we'll talk about that very soon but first let's focus in on the bench and some of the new kit that came in uh, I placed an order with Banggood way back in December well, early December and it came in just before the New Year's and uh, it is some nice new equipment for the quantum goggles mainly and the big kick is this guy look at that the Isheen 32 channel 5.8 micro or mini FPV receiver yeah look at the size difference I tried to use this on the goggles and it was just it was a mess they were too heavy too clunky and this is perfect and the reason I pulled these goggles originally the screen was being used for my ground stations because with this guy, James kept stealing my my fat shirts, and I wanted to fly with my fat shirts. So I built this guy up, and this is just a little Leaf uh, 5.8 receiver and transmitter. You can get them in the straight or the L, and you can get them in SMA or RP SMA. So lots of options, and they're about five six bucks. Uh, so they're perfect. They're small. They're light and effective, especially for this application. This one's going to go on my wing. I still run my blue beams and all my other bigger planes. Um, and yeah, look at that. 2S500, light, simple. Uh, I'm going to get a silicone uh, piece of uh, shrink wrap to cover over this guy, but couldn't ask for a better lightweight setup. I run a little uh, voltage alarm on it too, but when we're flying the little Nano, James is on these, I'm on mother's, and we're giggling away. So yes, I got this one for Christmas, and I wanted one of these for like a year or more. Perfect in the winter, and I've just been having a hoot, shooting gaps, chasing the cat, and just beaming around the house in it. We're running through like the 1S batteries like crazy, so I'll probably pick up a few more and a few uh, better charging options. But again, wow, what a fun airplane or <laughs> quad, little mini quad to fly. So really well balanced, quiet, and pretty tough and agile. I'm scratching up the, scratching up the props and everything here and there, but still... After a week of good hammering, it's still in really good shape. So, yeah, look at that one. Air Hog Millennium Falcon Quad. Noisy as can be, but still fun. Made of foam. My, it was an in-law who gave me this, and it's, it's, it's a fun little quad to fly. You do have to charge through the remote, and the remote has to be uh, USB'd into a, uh, a USB power supply as well to do the charging. It takes a bit of time, so it's one of those things that I'll fly in between when I need to give this thing a break if I've used it too much. The other item that's new on the bench is the Hobby King Skipper. I flew this guy before. I gave one to my dad last year for Christmas and I picked this up during the holiday uh, sales, pre before the holidays actually, sorry, on a, on a pretty good price from, from Hobby King. And I've wanted one for a while. Running a simple four channel Orange RX in the back and I run a 2200 Zippy Compact 3S uh, 25C right at the strap. They usually spec out at 1500 right closer to the nose, but the CG worked out just fine for me. And I've been flying it on like high rates, 100% with 30% expo. And it's it flies like a race car. I did add some some uh, some color to it. I put some yellow acrylic paint on there, some decals, and then I taped it up with some uh, you know reinforced uh, duct tape. And that'll just keep it really happy on the surface when it's skipping over the snow and ice and everything later on in the year. Wanted one of these guys for a while. I'm just really happy that I was able to pick it up. The other thing I did, uh, and I really enjoyed flying this one, actually, I've had this plane built for like a year or more, but on Boxing Day, my dad and I flew together for the first time. He's been flying his FT Mini Scout for a while. Um, the big change I made in mine, because the first time I did it, it was just ailerons and rudder, or sorry, rudder and elevator. Cut in some ailerons, and I switched over. I had the banged up uh, DYS 1806 motor that came off the HMB after I crashed it. Kind of pulled it back out and cut some metal away so it wouldn't rub and then grab one of the spare props I had and what a difference again it runs on a 2s 500 and you get about four or five minutes depending on how you're going but I mean we were inverted flying and just having a really good time with that um, I also before the snow came had the Pawnee out and I flew about three or four good packs through it and just really getting used to that plane um, it flies okay 
my big beef with it is I just can't get the thing to come in and land, especially at short landing. It really wants a long setup, a good, nice, you know, approach angle. It really doesn't want to dump in because it just pops and floats and everything. So I'm going to get used to it. I did pick up another set of Durafly skis that I'll use on the uh, Sky Mule, and I'm going to try and modify those for the Pawnee because I'm hoping I can still use that plane as a winter flyer because it's a good size. So you get this one plus a larger one like the Sky Mule and into the trunk and put these two together in the car and go and have a good time and then the third plane I got to fly the brand new from Durafly the Tundra I'm not going to show any footage or anything like that or, or go into a huge amount of details because I'm waiting for them to do the release before I say anything else um, it is a phenomenal plane I think you really want to pay attention to this model I think Durafly has done their homework and, and really hit uh, a home run with this plane it's just out of the blocks, it flew beautifully. I had a great time flying. It was on skis in the snow and just was stunned just how stable and clean and agile it felt. Even on low rates and just goofing around. Flew it with my A-Spec uh, 3S 2265Cs, put that in the nose, and it was balanced right away, even with the skis. The skis didn't slow it down or nothing. Might want to try the floats, but I've been really happy with the skis, and we got some nice video and some nice approaches and everything. So that's it for the first Friday flying update. Have a fantastic weekend. Hope to see everybody in the field. We're doing a podcast for the After Hours crew on Saturday, so tune in uh, a lot. We're going to be on YouTube instead of Periscope from now on because the chat feature is a lot better on the YouTube page. So tune in. Have a good time. See everybody there. Thanks. Bye.